what I was saying was it goes through three cycles. So you want to wait until the three cycles are over. It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today's video, we are going to be making some non-dairy milks together. Yes, this was actually requested to me a few times throughout the years, but I never got around to it because uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a lazy vegan, yes, okay. So I have not gotten around to even trying making my own non-dairy milks until basically this week. Before this, I had only tried making, if my memory serves me correctly, I've only tried making oat milk. That's the only thing I've ever made when it comes to making my own milks. Everything else I just buy from the store. So here we are today. Everything is about to change because now I have this very handy dandy device, okay? So today's video is very kindly sponsored by almond cow yes I now have an almond cow first of all can we just acknowledge the beauty of the name almond cow okay I feel like we've all seen that meme where it's like the hardest thing about being vegan is waking up at 5 in the morning to milk the almonds <laughs> I don't know if a vegan made that meme, but now I have my own almond cow and I don't have to worry about milking the almonds. All I have to do is put it in this device right here. So this device is basically your vegan milking machine, if you will, the cruelty-free milking machine. And it is a very handy dandy device, especially for those of us that don't have a high speed blender. So if you want to make your own non-dairy milks, but you don't want to get a very expensive blender, then this could be a really great option for you. And I've already tried using this because of course, I have to try it out before you know showing you guys so it's quite light and it's very easy to use which is my favorite thing because I am not good at following instructions I think we've talked about this it's a very serious problem all you have to do is just stick some nuts in here put this in here put some water in there and just let it go to work and it is done all right so we're gonna try making our own milks we're gonna try making almond milk now I've tried this already it works like a charm, but I'm gonna show you anyways. So this is the filter basket. So we wanna fill this filter basket with the you know ingredient of choosing, guys. So for now, it is the almonds. And uh, if you go on their website, you can actually get like a package where you can get like a big package of nuts like this. So it comes in like a whole package form. So it's very convenient, especially for those of us not leaving the house at the moment which should be most of us at this point. Okay, so basically you wanna fill this up to the one cup line. You can also snack on these too, you know what I'm saying, as you're making. All right, so got it filled, lovely. So this is a great way to minimize waste as well. You know, it's like a very good like zero waste item, you know, because you can make this and you don't have to buy, you know, a container. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So basically, you just do this. Just kind of close it. I didn't close it properly. I thought it was closed, but it wasn't. So let me close it properly. Oh, see, I kept turning it to the right and closing it is the left. So that was my issue. So you can make, you know, non dairy milks in a high speed blender. But again, like I said, I don't have a high speed blender. And if you do make it in like a blender, you need like a strainer thing. I like this because it's just so easy and it's also very easy to clean. So I'm just adding in some water. So they have a, like a little line here that says minimum, maximum. So you just wanna add it between those lines. And then screw this all, make sure it's all, make sure there's a little green light here and you just wanna press it. What I was saying was, it goes through three cycles. So you wanna wait until the three cycles are over. All right guys, so the three cycles are over and whoo, it gets very foamy when you first take it out, but of course the foam like subsides. And I don't know if y'all can see, y'all can see, so now we have almond milk. So they actually give you one of these like beautiful little cartons here. So yesterday I actually made my own almond milk as well. We can probably just fill this up. Mm hmm but I actually want to try this. Let's pour ourselves some almond milk. Oh, it's so frothy. This would be like great if you like made it fresh and then you put it in your coffee because it becomes like naturally frothy. 
Mmm. Mmm. I feel like this tastes better than yesterday's. Mmm. Y'all, this is so good. Ooh. Cheers. Do you see this? It's so good. It definitely tastes, you know, how do I say this? It tastes real. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I like store-bought almond milk, but this is just almonds and water, no preservatives, nothing like that. Mmm. Mmm. So yummy. So we have here next to me, I'm going to actually try oat milk. I'm very curious about the oat milk situation. So next is oat milk. Oh, and also guys, of course you have to clean this up. And of course guys, I forgot to mention that of course you're gonna get the pulp and you do not have to throw away the pulp, guys. They actually have... Uh, mm. There are tons of recipes online on their website as well about what to do with the pulp. So do not throw the pulp away because you could use it for so many different things. So I'm definitely gonna put this in the fridge so I can use it for different recipes. I think I saw an almond pulp like cookie recipe. So I definitely wanna try that. So I'm just gonna put this away and wash up and I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, so I've cleaned up the almond cow. We are ready for the next milk. Now, the next one I wanna try making is milk yes guys we are making oat milk with the almond cow so you should try to be creative okay there's so many things you can make a non-dairy milk out of okay so this oat milk we're gonna actually kick it up a notch we're not just gonna do oats we're gonna add a few little things to make it interesting okay we're gonna fill this up to the one cup line oh that's a way to sit it hey look at me just figuring things out as I go Ah, great fantastic so these are our whole grain oats guys okay I'm spilling it everywhere as I would so I'm gonna fill this up to the one cup line so you don't want to go over because it's gonna it might like cause problems okay so there we go these are like the most whole oats I've ever seen guys very whole okay so we're gonna start with that and we're also gonna add in a few other little ingredients that I thought would be interesting so first thing we're gonna add is some vanilla extract one teaspoon of vanilla extract and we're also gonna add about a tablespoon of sweetness YOLO all right close it I'm just gonna pour the drippage in here so the water is already in here and we're gonna make oat milk with vanilla and a little bit of sweetener not plugged in <laughs> I'm just winning at life people winning at life there we go So it is done. Once again, you just want to pop off that lid. Ooh, I'm excited, guys. Hmm. So looks very foamy as usual, but once again, it will the foam will subside. Ooh, guys, do you see this? So this one's gonna be obviously sweeter than the almond milk. Ooh. Hmm. So creamy and delicious. Guys, it's so good. And oats are really cheap, so this is a great way to save money as well. Mm. It's not too sweet because it's quite a bit of water. So it's not too sweet, but just a little bit of sweetness and very, very small hint of the vanilla. Again, you don't have to add those things. Oh, I forgot to add salt. So apparently adding salt is uh, good for freshness. So I probably should have added some salt, but forgot. Whoops, too bad. Maybe I'll add some, actually. Only I'll be drinking this, okay? Probably tastes better with the salt, too. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Everything tastes better with salt. Why is salt delicious? Anyways, all right. So this one is gonna go into this jar. This is just an old kombucha jar that I had. It's quite a bit of milk, guys. Yum! All right, so that's my oat milk. Very exciting. Now we're gonna make the next milk. So with the whole oat pulp, I think I'm just gonna have some oatmeal tomorrow, guys. All right, you guys, so the next milk we are going to be trying to make is, what is this, what is this? Coconut milk, but we're actually gonna mix it with almonds because apparently because of the consistency of shredded coconut uh, it works better when you mix it with other nuts now they say the best mixture is coconut cashew however 
I don't have cashew milk, guys. I know, it is a tragedy. So because of that, we are just gonna mix it with almonds. Hopefully it works out. All right, so I think I'm just gonna do half these. So where's my filter basket? So here is the filter basket. We're gonna add in about half the shredded coconut. Half cup of the shredded coconut, I mean. Some almonds. Again, up to the one cup line, guys. Hmm, do I wanna add, you know what, I'll add a little bit of salt. And then, oh, I forgot to add water in here. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the almond cow. Let me plug it in this time. <laughs> and I've got here a mixture of coconut shreds, almonds, and a little bit of salt. All right, this is officially done. We're just going to do the usual. Place this into the collector cup. And then, ooh. Wow, it looks super frothy, this one. Again, this is great, like make this in the morning, okay? <laughs> and then just put it straight into your coffee. I like my coffee black, but for those of you guys that like your coffee with a little bit of like foam, this is like actually perfect if you can be bothered to do this in the morning. I mean, it's pretty easy, so you could probably, you could set this, oh my gosh, guys. I've just realized, okay? I am a genius. So you could set this up, okay? Get it all ready to go, and then in the morning, just fill this with water and then run it and then you can just pour it on top into your coffee. God, I wish I liked foam in my coffee now. I got my handy dandy cup. Let's pour this, ooh, it's so frothy. Ooh, very nice. Look at that, the, look at the frothiness. It's because of the coconut. The coconut is very like thick, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Mmm. Guys. This might be my favorite. Mm. It's so creamy. It's because coconut is like nice and fatty. So it really creates a nice creamy consistency and it's so frothy. Like, do you guys see? Anyway, you guys, if you guys like your uh, non-dairy milks nice and creamy, a little bit of froth, I recommend trying this combination out. I definitely want to try the cashew coconut. That would be so good. Mmm, it's so good. I think this would be so good in coffee. I might try it tomorrow morning, okay. All right, you guys, so there's one final combination that I'm really, really interested to try, and it's going to be almond pecan. Yes, guys, we gonna be using some pecans. You guys know I, well, actually, I don't know if you know, but pecans are great. I love pecans, I think they're delicious, and I've never actually tried a pecan milk. You know what I'm saying? Pecan milk. Have you ever tried it? I feel like it's gonna be so good. So we're gonna add in quite a few pecans here. And then we're also gonna throw in some almonds. We're using a lot of almonds today. Ooh, okay, so pecans and almonds. I heard this is a great combination. We already have water in here. We are going to plug this in. I think we are now masters at plugging this in, okay? so. We got pecans, we got almonds, and we're also gonna add in that little bit of salt. Um, do I wanna add some vanilla? You know what, let's just do this. Okay, let's just make it simple. Here we go. Pecan almond milk. All right, you guys, are we ready for the final combination? Ooh la la. Hmm, hello. Again, foamy as usual. Looks great, fantastic. So let's just pour it in this nice jar right here. Ooh, nice and creamy. Oh, guys, who needs dairy, honestly? Mm-hmm, cheers. Mmm! Wow. That pecan flavor, definitely seeping through. Now I don't know which one's my favorite. <laughs> I think I said, I said the coconut was my favorite before, the coconut almond, but uh, pecan, guys. Mmm. I think this is my favorite. <laughs> 
either way, all of them are so delicious, but I really enjoy combining a bunch of these different things. Next time I might try a coconut pecan almond. I think that would be amazing. So guys, that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed making some non-dairy milks with me. Let me know if you guys have any favorite combinations or any recipes, like what do you think I should add into the milks? I've seen people add like dates and you know, other, you know, ingredients. So I want to know if you guys have tried some magical combination that makes like the perfect non-dairy milk because I'm really excited to play around with this. So if you guys are interested in making your own non-dairy milks and grabbing yourself this handy dandy almond cow, then check out the link down below and you can get yourself 15% off using the link below. So don't forget to grab that deal. Check this out guys. This is such a handy device, especially for those of you that love some non-dairy milk. So. Cheers, thank you so much to Almond Cow for sponsoring today's video. So, super delicious. I'm so happy I can make these just so easily, especially now that we're all kind of, you know, locked into our homes and we're recommended not to leave the house. So, it's so good to be able to just make your own milks. It's so awesome. So yeah, it's a great zero waste way to uh, enjoy non-dairy milk. It's a healthier way, definitely more sustainable. It's just awesome. And it can be also money saving as well. So yeah, don't forget to check out the link down below. Once again, you can get 15% off your almond cow. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.